Definitely need a YouTube channel. Now that I'm like, seeing how the fuck I really act. Damn. I'm not about to post this yet. So I'm a rapper, right? And I've been rapping since I was like 14. It's about like five years, something like that. I feel like I'm going to be the next one up. It's the same script, different life. All I got to do is just follow the script. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. From the end no, if you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep these YouTube videos interesting, you know what I'm saying? I don't want people to just drift off. This is really how I am. I'm just like, I'm not slow. I'm just a very observant person. I feel like a lot of people be thinking I'm slow and shit. And I was like, nah. Life happens right now. You got to keep your head on a swivel. Because at any given time, you could lose your life. You could die at any given moment in life. No matter where it's from. Or what angle or trajectory it it hits you at. And a wise man once said, well, he didn't say anything at all. I just hope people understand me. And not understand like in a domineering way, but just relate. When you've been rapping for so long, people start treating you with a different energy because they think they still have a hold on you. And when you become cold, it's just like the only energy that you're pretty much harnessing is for your own self-development. So it's like regardless of how you're feeling, I'm using my time wisely. So in the midst of you getting upset 
over something that pretty much doesn't concur anymore. It's like, I won't be using that same time towards other things. And when you're in go mode, once you like really start rapping, you're in the studio every night, you know what I'm saying? Right, verse after verse, hook after hook, chorus after chorus. It's just like, man, this is the best thing ever. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. And then, of course, you always want to give back to your community. So sometimes it hurts when you know the person that is facilitating this amount of bad projections, I'll say, upon you that don't resonate. There's a difference between resonate and relate. I I just want to put that out there. Look that up. And it's just like, you want to, like, you, in the end, you want to help that person. But they're being toxic. And they keep claiming it's over the same thing. But it's like, it's good on my end. So whatever the same thing happening to you, that's between you. Because I didn't do nothing. You can't even tell me what I did. You can't even explain what I did. So that's kind of like a heart to heart. It's worth that that job, man. I hate working here, man. It's so stunned, bro. I hate it. Nah, it's cool. It's just a little job. I don't know who's going to, if I mean, like, even if it happens. And I'll be blessed if I do. If I start getting views, and then we grow as a community, and I'll tell y'all what I like, y'all let me know what y'all like, I ain't like how the way that sound. I'm going to be honest. I feel like y'all should let me know what y'all like. But I got to put boundaries up for myself first. Energies are a thing, yeah. Being in New Orleans, shit, man. What you know about that voodoo, nigga? Shit, boy. What you, shit, boy. What you know about them spirits, nigga? Shit, boy. Motherfuckers want to survive down here, bro. Motherfuckers will not survive down here, bro. 